Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14 say, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might deliver us from all iniquity and, to, and purify unto himself uh, his own special people, a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Now, I had read that passage before, but when the Lord began to deal with me, I realized that Paul was saying, the grace that saves is a grace that instructs and transforms. If indeed you are a recipient of the grace of God, you have His Spirit. If indeed God has invaded your soul by the power from the world to come, when the Spirit begins to shed the light of God's Word in your heart and in your mind, something really begins to happen. You see the Scripture teaches you that these things are wicked, these things are righteous, and there is this desire in your heart and soul to walk with Christ. The, the idea that American Christianity has embraced is that, well, we, we, we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it's all of grace, and therefore uh, see you in heaven. And they seem to miss the fact that God saves us, justifies us, and justification is never separated, it is distinct, but it is never separated from sanctification. The notion of grace that doesn't in some way kindle in the human heart a desire to put away what is wicked and to walk in righteousness is not saving grace.